Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Lord's Shrine on this Feast of the Holy Angels. Um, we're blessed to have some possibility for some music today, so if you'd like, we'll begin with the song, Gather Your People. It's number 310. 310. Your people, O oh Lord, gather your people, O oh Lord, one bread, one body, one spirit of love, gather your people, O oh Lord. Cross forth to the table of life, brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. We are parts of the body of Christ, being each other, each of us gives, Spirit provides. Gather your people, O Lord, gather your people, O Lord, one bread, one body, one spirit of love, gather your people, O of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. And let us call on the protection, the loving kindness and providence of God that we know from the guardian angels, we know even more from the death, the rising of Jesus. Let us ask for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come to us this morning in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. And 
we ask it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh, please be seated, everyone, as we listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, See, I am sending an angel before you to guard you on the way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Be attentive to him and heed his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not forgive your sin. My authority resides in him. If you heed his voice and carry out all I tell you, I will be an enemy of your enemies and a foe to your foes. My angel, I will go before you and bring you to the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hivites, Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The The Lord Lord has has put put angels in charge charge of you to guard you in all your ways. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, Say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The The Lord Lord has put put angels angels in charge charge of you to to guard guard you all your ways. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you and under his wings you shall take refuge. The The Lord Lord has put angels angels in charge of you to to guard you in all your ways. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. You shall not feel the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. The Lord Lord has put put angels angels in charge charge of you you, to guard you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you that they guard you in all your ways. The The Lord Lord has put put angels angels in charge charge of you to to guard guard you in all all your ways. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, 
Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. you're listening to the to the two readings this feast of the of the guardian angels is just surrounded by this notion of god filled with love for each one of us as his little children and then us needing to act like people of children of confidence of dependence of humility it's, it's the fact that it is one family. Um, the yesterday, or the day before, Father Don and I were coming back on the ferry, and um, before it left on the dock in Port Jefferson, there was a, a very young family, father and a wife, and maybe, a, I'd say maybe a three-month-old baby strapped to the father's front, and they were just walking just the three of them. Um, and it was just like a walking image of God, God's love for all of his children, for all of us, for every person ever created, and their love for this little tiny one. At this point, just the three of them, where the rest of their lives and all family will go, Lord knows. But they were right there. And in a sense, that the parents were almost like guardian angels to the to the baby, but they all had their angels watching over them. It, it's something that's so down to earth, very practical. Um, <laughs> the other day, uh, Ronnie and our, our maintenance guys were fixing um, the, the little golf cart, which we had used on the weekend, that kind of got first stuck in mud with a six-month pregnant lady that Father Don was trying to drive around. So they all, got out of the, they all got out of the golf cart and worked their way up through the mud. That was bad enough, but everybody was safe. But we found out yesterday the brakes were like almost gone. I mean, when Ronnie took them apart, there was nothing left. They fell apart, nothing. I chalk it up to guardian angels watching over this lady and Don and everybody else there. Often enough in our old house, our 100-year-old house up there, if we're putting in some new electricity or this needs to be done, and they open up the wires, and they have found the old you know, cloth-covered wires from way back that had burned halfway down and then stopped. And it didn't go all the way down and cause a fire and burn the bloody place down. Things like that are just proof that, that God's loving care and is watching over us you must have all your own stories of that as you lived your life, as you're doing it now. And just take great comfort in that, but also a sense that if God's taking such good care of me, I have to look out for others with great tenderness. I become a mini guardian angel to others. And that's really important. We can't just let ourselves be protected. We have to protect others with as much kindness and patience and wisdom as we can so that this circle of love grows and grows and grows. There's a wonderful passage in St. Augustine that sort of tries to encompass our whole lives. And it just says, my past, O Lord, is in your mercy. My present is in your love. 
My future is in your providence. The whole of it. The past where it really needs mercy because we've all messed up bad. The present where we need the love because we have to have the courage, the wisdom, the strength for today. And the providence that will watch over tomorrow. And each day we move along with that. My past in your mercy, my present presence in your love, my future in your providence. And much of that mercy, love, and providence will come to us through this care of our angels who watch over each one of us. So let us pray then for the whole church of God around the earth, all the children, all the brothers and sisters, that God would continue to love and protect each soul and help us to care for one another. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray now for the second session of this synod taking place in Rome for the Holy Father, for all those gathered delegates, that the Holy Spirit be with them, that the wisdom of God fill them and the courage of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord and this evening we begin Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. So let us pray in a most special way for all the Jewish people, that they be faithful to the covenant, that God would also help bring about peace and justice to all the places of the holy lands. We pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray for the sick, for you yourself if you're not well, for all those who care for the sick each day. that God's loving healing would be with each one. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray for all children and young people as they enter more and more into the school year, that they be safe, that they grow in wisdom and grace. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all of our dearly departed, And today, we have a special mass of remembrance in the Staub family, and we remember Grandfather Frank Meyer, Grandmother Mabel Meyer, Bob and Bobby DeSanto, Frank Meyer, Tom Meyer, Mary Jackson, Muriel Meyer, Charlie Staub, Joanne Meyer, Caitlin Moncour, Lisa Rooney, that God's eternal and loving peace and grace be with each one and with all of us one day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And then let us pray in quiet for the people, for the things that are most in our hearts this morning. We pray to the Lord. Oh God, may your love rest upon us as we place all our hope in you. We pray that through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated, everyone.
Eucharist are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. So, brothers and sisters, let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true. Duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ the Lord. For through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. In the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O oh Lord, humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we these mysteries. For on the was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing and broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, All of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, up for you. And in a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples. And he said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me,
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, that we may become one body, one spirit, May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Christopher, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, our loved ones, our family members, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with you, with your son, in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So shall we rise and as God's children pray with great, great confidence the prayer the Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever, and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
and we share a little sign of that peace with those nearby. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Communion hymn is number 325, Bread for the World. <clears throat> Broken 
where the dryness sleeps, where we are tired and weary. You are waiting there to be the way to which beckons us beyond despair. A world of hunger, wine for all peoples, people who thirst. May we who eat be bread for others. May we who drink pour out. And let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. And we ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, enjoy the sun as it comes out on this beautiful day. If you haven't heard or seen already, these days in the Pilgrim Hall we have this extraordinary exhibit of icons painted by Ukrainian artists on, on used ammunition boxes and crates. And it's quite extraordinary. So if you can get to go, please do. The gift shop is open. So the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our celebration is ended, so let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God.